Apple's A18 Pro obtains respectable double-digit multi-core gains over the A17 Pro, new SOC is unmatched in single-core department. The A18 Pro is said to be found in the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max later this year, and according to an alleged Geekbench 6 benchmark run, Apple's upcoming SOC delivers impressive performance results when compared to the A17 Pro, with the difference reaching double digits. However, regarding the rest of the competition, we have some thoughts we would like to share with you. Despite these impressive gains, the A18 Pro trails behind the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 when it comes to multi-core performance, but efficiency numbers yet to be seen. A previous Geekbench 6 single-core score leak shows that the A18 Pro is completely unrivaled in this category and is actually competing with Apple's M3 range of chipsets found in the company's various Macs. With the latest results, those single-core figures hardly change from the previous ones, suggesting that we are in for a treat in the fourth quarter of this year. When compared to the A17 Pro, the latest scores show that the A18 Pro is 22% faster in single-core and 28% faster in multi-core performance. This is quite a substantial difference between the two chipsets that will be released after just a year, and we will even go as far as to say that these results might be skewed. This is because a separate rumor claimed that the A18 Pro delivers barely any multi-core gains over its predecessor registering a measly 10% performance difference against the A17 Pro, making this claim more believable. Also, assuming that the A18 Pro manages to acquire those double-digit scores, it is still slower than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which is allegedly 46% faster than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Geekbench 6's multi-core score, crossing the 10,000 points barrier. Qualcomm's flagship SOC appears to be the winner here, but we have not discussed a major component in these scores, power efficiency. During these test runs, it is likely that companies such as Apple and Qualcomm allow their chipsets to run at full tilt, and then they try to achieve a balance between performance and power consumption. At this stage, we do not have the efficiency metrics of the A18 Pro, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, or MediaTek's Dimensity 9400, so we cannot comment on the performance per watt aspect of these SOCS, at least until all of them are officially released in the near future, so stay tuned for more updates. Also, we have to thank Atheridafinani96 for providing us with these alleged scores.